The thought of seeing him on the floor and that he was blue and uh, unresponsive, basically going into cardiac arrest is just, you know, it's a, it's a memory that just won't, it's won't, ever, won't ever leave us. He never us. leaves you. We had spent all day down at the Yiyangs. We came home, we put Raf to bed. Um, he wasn't feeling 100%. We heard some noises and I went in and I found him unconscious, non-responsive, um, and basically going into cardiac arrest. His whole face was going blue. I didn't really know what was happening. <sighs> um, I just remember looking over and um, sort of saying like, we're about to lose him. In those moments where we were just looking at each other in disbelief that we were about to lose our son. I don't know what came over me, but uh, I essentially just remembered basically the CPR that I had learned back in high school. It was such a long time ago and I just remembered it and it all came back to me. So I was able to perform CPR and do the compressions and I breathed into his little mouth. We called the triple zero in the ambulance straight away. We started performing CPR and he was not breathing for about five to ten minutes. It took 35 minutes for the ambulance to get there and so for the whole time we were performing CPR and checking if he was responsive or not. We were just doing CPR, breathing into his mouth, he was coming back but he would go back into the blue sort of phase and then basically he started to come back so I'm very grateful that I had the training that I did a very long time ago ultimately saved my son's life. The ambulance people praised Lucy on acting quickly. She said that it could have been a different story if she hadn't started with CPR and changed everything. But he is, uh, he is now one happy little boy though. We're very grateful to have him. He challenges us in so many ways, but he is just, he's beautiful inside and out and we just cherish him so much. I guess being the overall winner of this award, it's a very humbling experience. It's nothing we set out to do. In our minds, we were just being parents, just trying to look after our, our boy. So we decided to get in contact with Parks Victoria. They have kindly accepted the donation of the defibrillator, so that's fantastic. So they have a lot of elderly, a lot of young, they have schools, they have excursions. Uh, we feel that that's probably the most appropriate um, place. Very fitting place. Yeah. Try and take the time to learn how to do CPR, um, how to do first aid, it can save a lot of time, precious minutes and ultimately save someone's life.